can you find a flower without, what is, ah. And this right here is a manatee, a gorgeous creature. I think seeing a crocodile for the first time would be probably one of the most terrifying things. That more than anything. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> okay, um, uh, ginkgo are uh, gymnosperms. Catastrophic destruction. Is destruction also always catastrophic? I don't like squirrels. Today we're talking about grass. <laughs> <laughs> Not all grass are grass. Today we're talking about grass. That's fine, nice. These southern, northern. Have you ever encountered Vissen threads? Today, we're talking, no. <laughs> Surely not. I don't know if I'm having fun. It's like, I'm really having fun now, or whatever. <laughs> I don't, okay, um, so you'll have to point at it. This is Mishoiana. <laughs> Today, we're talking about, a... <laughs> should I not use this? There's so many ginkgo nuts here, dude. I mean, this is pretty sandy soil. You can compact sand. This and threads are thought to be... You can easily identify the grasses by... Yeah. Among shifting sediments. <laughs> what a cute, benevolent animal. I'll stand in the grass, get the ticks for you. Because I care about you guys. This is what I do. Daemonodes, and these produce nectar. Is that true? I think so, dude. They must. I think hellebores is toxic, actually. Oh, the papery stuff is actually another layer of the seed coat. There's three layers of the seed coat. There's the papery on the inside of the end of the hard thing, and then there's the hard thing, and then there's the... And when it rains... It pours. <laughs> that was good. That's a wrap.